the 12th of April today and I'm back up the allotment this morning uh, and what I've got to do today are a few bits and pieces. The first thing I'm going to do is to plant my broad beans out. Now I know you can start your broad beans straight in the soil. Um, you can either start them in, uh, in the autumn or you can start them in the spring. Um, I've tried both. Um, and I just generally found that the germination rate wasn't brilliant. So um, what I have done for the last few years is I've started them off in sort of about end of February time in three inch pots. Uh, and I tend to find that the germination rate for them is much better. You don't get all of them come through, but you get more. Um, and this is what they look like. Okay, they are about seven, eight inches tall and they now need to go outside. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant them out in the allotment, in one of the beds. And when you plant them, you need to space them quite a long way apart from each other because they'll grow out and they'll bush up. Um, they should grow about two, three feet tall um, and they will, they will spread to about nine inches wide. So um, I'm going to position each plant um, a foot apart from each other. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so before you put them in, make sure that you've um, de-weeded the bed uh, and dug it over. Now I've got um, a row of shallots here, so I'm going to leave about um, a foot gap between one row and the next and just dig a nice deep hole. And when you've done that, then you can take out your broad bean. Now you can see that there's some lovely, lovely little roots there. Okay, the compost is very wet because it was sitting outside last night and we had some rain. So very carefully put it in the soil and bury it deeper than it was in the pot and this will make it more sturdy and just bring the soil round it, push it down, and that's that one done. So I'll leave about a foot gap, and then I'll keep going, and I'll plant the next one, and then I'll keep going, and I will come back to you when I'm done. Okay, well there they are. I've got 11 in there. Now, once you've planted them out, what you need to do is you need to protect them from slugs and snails because these uh, leaves are very juicy and very tasty um, and the slugs and snails will come along and, uh, and have a bit of a midnight feast. If your soil is dry when you put them in, then I would suggest you give them um, a good water in. However, my soil is actually very wet at the moment, um, so I won't be doing that for a couple of days unless, of course, we have another downpour today, which uh, we're due to. Uh, but those are in, and now it's time to get the first of the Sarpo Mira potatoes in. Well, yesterday I got in um, the King Edward potatoes um, and today I'm going to continue where I left off with those uh, with the Sarpo Mira. The Sarpo Mira, I've actually got four trays um, at home, but I've only got two trays down here. So um, I'll, I'll do what I've got today and then hopefully tomorrow I can get the rest done. Uh, these again have been shooting. Um, they've been chitting away on top of the kitchen cupboards and we've got some absolutely glorious chits there. So um, I'm going to make a hole with my long-handed bowl planter and then I'm going to put my potato in, make sure that the shoot is poking up. So um, I'll get on with those because I've got two trays. Um, I might not have enough space, so I might need to um, dig over uh, another bed over there to get them in, but that's my next job. Right, well, that's those two trays of potatoes in. Um, there's some in the bed up there and then um, there's some in this bed. Um, I'll try and bring the, um, the other two down the rest of this week maybe one tomorrow and one the day after um, and then I can fit them in there and then I need to find a bit more space maybe over here to, to do the last few but that's half of the sarpos in grow my beauties grow um, and uh, that's that's it for today um, I'm exhausted it's really quite warm it's it's beautiful we're supposed to get rain this afternoon but um, we'll <laughs> 
<laughs> we'll see if, if that happens, it most probably will. Well, I hope you found what I've shown you this morning interesting and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>